bearing some gifts, including me, for you I will live. A warm welcome to Faith Avenue, right? Here, and this is your brother, Minister Cage. I'm so excited. We said, uh, let's just do, you know, a back-to-back -back of uh, uh, Cage and the Clage. <laughs> what makes this show even uh, special and uh, peculiar is the fact that today we are in the life of the Catholic priest. And this happens to be, you know, the priest uh, from um, uh, St. Augustine. Yeah, St. Augustine. Augustine Parish. St. Augustine Parish, Saint Augustine Parish okay. right there in uh, Kalikiliki. And he's actually, you know, Father Emmanuel Lungu. How are you, Father? I'm fine, <laughs> Minister Kedje. How okay. are you? I'm blessed. I'm okay. blessed as usual. Okay. How have you been? I've been well. I can't complain all wow. as well. Yeah. I'm actually welcoming you in your own home. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> it happens. <laughs> oh yeah, it does. It does. When yeah. I'm here, it becomes my home. Okay. <laughs> you become my guest. <laughs> Not our home. <laughs> no, no, no. You are visiting. <laughs> Once this is done, then yeah. I, 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 I take off. Over to us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so first things first. Tell me, how is um, ministry? How is church? How is the work of God? Um, the ministry is just okay. I mm -hmm. can't complain. All is well. Um, as desired to be becoming a priest now that I'm a priest. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's dream come true. Dream come true. Wow. So I'm enjoying my life. With thank God. God. Yeah. With thank God. Yeah. And um, yeah. I, I know um, in most cases when you're talking to priests, they don't have this divided life. When you talk, when you ask about how church mm. is, obviously you should even be done. <laughs> There's nothing like how is the family at home? Mm. There's nothing like that, right? No. Or maybe can I check? How's the family? <laughs> the family is okay. Because <laughs> before priesthood, there is a family. There is a family. <laughs> yes. Wow. So, of course, you know, you are now divided. You have a family from the church side, mm. the spiritual family and the and biological the, family. The biological family. Yes. So when you say the family, maybe you divide now. All right. Which family? Is it oh, yeah. the spiritual family, the biological family? But anyway, in this case, both. They both. Are okay. yes. They are intact. Yes. We thank okay. God. Yeah. All yeah. right. Um, um, so at this particular yeah. time, uh, I, I want us to check a few things because today I want us to delve in your life, mm. to just check and uh, probably read almost each and every page of your life. Mm. Uh, tell me, who is um, uh, Father Emmanuel Lungu? How would you describe yourself? Okay, um, Father Emmanuel Lungu. Um, Father Emmanuel Lungu <laughs> is... Um, uh, I don't know how where to start. Where from. to start? I know you have a huge story behind. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, t tell me first things first. What tribe uh, are you? I'm Tumbuka. You are Tumbuka. Tumbuka. So much Tumbuka, me oh yeah. Yes. Omanya chomene. Omanya chomene. How can you make Tumbuka go? Tumbuka wa ku muasempangwe. Muasempangwe. Yes. Uh, ku muasempangwe go? Iku chipata. Okay, we're just speaking tongues, right? They're in tongues. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we, let's, let's come back. So tell me, um, how many are you in your family? We are nine. You are nine? And you happen yes. to be number what? Number five. Number five. Yes. How does it make you feel being number five mm. from the team of nine? It's, it's, it's okay. And mostly that, you know, there is something peculiar about it because I'm number five, but the first born in the gentleman. Ah, oh, yes. wow. So the first four, they are girls. They are girls. Yes. So besides being number five, uh -huh. but uh, you're you, first you, man. You, you are the first man. The first you are the first born of the, of the male folk. Yes, yes. So. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, where were you born from? I was born in Lundazi. Lundazi. Yes. Chief uh, Mwasembangwe. Okay. So tell me a bit about uh, your stay in Lundazi, probably as, as, as far as you can remember. Hmm. How was um, life in Lundazi? Mm, Lundazi, life was okay. Um, maybe I can just start from the beginning, like hmm. you have said there. Yeah. First of all, I was born in 1988. Okay. Yes, 1988, awesome. that's, that's when I was born, hmm. on 21st of September. Wow. Yes. To be precise. <laughs> yes, yes. The first of September, nineteen eighty-eight. That's when I was born. Mm -hmm. So from that time, you know, I as we I grew up, mm -hmm. um, I was um, maybe run us through your t your, your, your academic my background. Academic. Yes. Okay. The schools you yes. went so, to. Yes. Maybe you yes. had that privilege of going yes. to a a, a nursery school. 
We no, never no, no, know. No, 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 <laughs> uh, There, you know, at that time, mm -hmm. were, those necessary schools were not there. If mm. they are there, maybe this time around. Yeah. Mm. This time I'm told they are there. The last time I went there, I found, I think, to my necessary schools. Okay. But at, at, at that time, mm. there were no necessary schools. Mm -hmm. So that was in 1995 when I told the mom and dad that I want to start school. 1995. 1995. How old were you at that time? At that time, I was uh, seven, seven. You told them or they... I told them. Th they reminded you that you need to start school. No, I told them. What happened? In fact, this I, is in fact I was six. The time I told them that I want to start school, mm. I was six. Okay. So I told them that I want to start school because I want to become a priest. At, at that age? Yes, at the age of six, I told them that I wow. want to start school, I want to become a priest. So I started this uh, school, though it was a struggle because, you know, a long time ago for you to start school, there mm -hmm. was one requirement that mm -hmm. we needed to do. Mm -hmm. You needed to touch you the cross, other side. Yes, you cross, you cross your, your, your hand uh -huh. here, you mm -hmm. touch the other side of your, mm -hmm. uh, your ear. Here. Mm -hmm. So if you can't, then mm -hmm. you are not eligible, you are not qualified My to start goodness. that one. <laughs> So it was So tough. you qualified? <laughs> no, it was tough. That's uh -huh. what I'm saying. I, uh -huh. I didn't qualify, but I, I qualified through crying. I cried. I said, no, I have to start school. Whether I'm able to reach or not, I have uh, to start school. Because I, I want need to, to start school. I want to become a priest. <laughs> wow. So the head teacher that time, he said, ah, okay, anyway, let's see, give it a chance. Let's give him a chance. Let mm. him try. We try him. Mm -hmm. if, he, if you do well in grade one, the next year you'll be grade one. But if you want, mm -hmm. then you have to, to repeat. repeat. Ah, okay. Yes. Um, so, mm -hmm. so um, then that was the end of 1994. Okay. Nin 1995, early, as they were starting term one, mm -hmm. I started grade one. Okay. That is 1995. All right. I started grade one mm -hmm. at the Champoyo Basic School there in Dundazi. So you were there up to what grade? Up to grade seven. That grade is seven. twenty zero one. Okay. So I, 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 no, up to yes, up to twenty zero one. So nineteen ninety five to two thousand, mm -hmm. I wrote my grade seven, but I failed, so I had to repeat. Okay. In in twenty twenty one. This is awesome. Even yes. fathers fail. Oh yes. <laughs> Yes, yes. Fathers in the making. <laughs> yes, All right. Yes. Okay. So I felt, I said no, but now not failing completely. Mm. No, kuja kwa mina wakamba, but failing kwa kwa panda and zero. I felt <laughs> with, <laughs> 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 yes. I felt with the, what they call certificate. Okay. But you know now, say, certificate, where there is no school where I'm going. Eh. No, I At have to repeat. Weka. No, I said I have to repeat so that I pass where there will be a school where I'm supposed to go. No, maybe, Father, mm -hmm. you tell me, um, mm -hmm. What could have led to your your failing grade um, seven? I think sometimes it's um, maybe the the background. You know, sometimes what is happening, what I've seen now that I'm grown up, sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, these are our parents, sometimes they may not pay, pay particular attention what you do at school. Mm -hmm. Yes, what you do at school, maybe how you go to school, mm. how you come back. What but, happens at yeah, school. Yeah, maybe the care given, sometimes uh -huh. they don't pay particular attention. Mm -hmm. So maybe I was lacking in some way, but then no one could encourage me at that time maybe to do better. But uh, were your elder sisters in school that time around? At that time, um, uh, my... Let's say they should be the third born and the fourth born, yes. The At that time, Yes. How about the first and the second? The first, no. And the second, by that time, no. So were you not uh, receiving some moral or even educational support from uh, your... Or even just guidance from your elder sisters? Mm. You know, sometimes it's very difficult, you know, when he, your, your first born is uh, their ladies. Sometimes, you know, in our, in our local, in our local, in our African tradition, mm. rather, mm -hmm. sometimes there will still, there will still be that gap, you know, okay. because you are, you are the, the, the man and mm -hmm. them, the women. So sometimes, and you know, even just yourself, mm -hmm. sometimes there is that defense whereby, because I'm a you man, I, I can't them. be taught, I can't be taught, uh, taught by, by, by my uh, a woman, uh. Uh, my own sister mm. teaching me. Mm. So I should be the one teaching I should them. be the one teaching. So sometimes there is that resistance. Okay. So probably even that could have led maybe to my failing because sometimes you do, lacking maybe consultation, 
maybe concentration at school, but I can't really tell whatever, whatsoever happened. But uh, I remember that I was very hardworking because I had, uh, <laughs> I had, I had something to do in the future. Okay. Uh, there I was, uh, I was very determined that I have to become a priest. Okay. But how I felt, really, you I can't, can't explain. I can't explain it. But how was your general performance in class, like uh, Temley and stuff like that? No, it was uh, it was excellent. It was excellent. Yes, it was just okay. Did this shock your your, your teachers? If, of if course, your performance was excellent, obviously, and then you just of happened. Of course, they were shocked because they never wanted me to start grade one at a tender age. But okay. After that, they were pleased, and they, I, I did. I, I mean, when, when they shocked that you failed, and yet you were excellent in class. Oh yeah, it is. It is. It is always shocking for a teacher if yeah. he, if he's someone, but uh, someone you 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 trust that oh this one does it well, mm -hmm. then they fail. But again, there's one consoling factor nowadays. You know, you realize that those who are so good in class, mm -hmm. when it comes to exam time, normally they say uh, they they fail. Why? Because they say the journey of the mind. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes, the journey of the mind. So you think you are writing an exam, you are number one. Mm. Maybe you have already reached number two because okay. of, you know, that. that's why they say when you find an exam tough, mm -hmm. then you are better off because you are going to pass because okay. there is total concentration. Oh, yeah. Yes. I get but it. if you find it very simple, mm. you, you think are writing, it's simple. Mm. You'll be writing you take on it for number granted. Yes, you are on number two, you think you are on. Uh, I mean, you are on number two. You think you are already on? Maybe you're already on number five. I get it. The journey of the mind. All right. You know, okay. So. so let's just take a break, Father. We'll be right back after listening to this uh, great song done by mm. Father Mtashala with a song entitled um, Uonde Pepa Nani.
What a great song right there by Father Mtashala. <clears throat> I remember I was very young the time that I started listening to his music. You know, uh, he's such a great minister. All right. Um, that's the title of the song. And uh, we're still on Catch and the Clergy right here. Um, and we've just been joined by, uh, you know, dad here, uh, uh, Mr. Sain uh, Lungu, of course. Tinibuino, Kayo Moyo. No, Moyo is a Bino. Tia Vikira, Banja Banji. No, Banja Ribuin. Eh, what says you are? No, it's in so that sick. Is it come when you can indeed? Cosa Kaikira. Come on, like a Bino name. She says, Nichi, what's the secret? You look young and energetic as well. All right, um, so Kubira Kuanoba, Nikupasa Chabon Boni, Pau Moyo, our father. Kuti, a father called the Anacula, Motan, Vanacula, Kuti, Nivandani, and all that. So, Tizambo, Kambana, and Wet, Kafunsa, then what time is a so chab? Okay. But for now, we would want to continue with Father where we ended. Father, I want you to quickly run me through your tertiary education. Or maybe after your grade uh, seven, after you've made it, which school did you go to? So, after grade seven, I went to Mpingo's uh, school. Mupingos? Uh, Mupingos, yes. Is it that a... Is in grade 8 now. Is, is that school for a church? Yes. It's, okay. Uh, <laughs> Mupingo. <laughs> not for the church, okay. no. Uh -huh. Because you said after grade 7. Yes, so after true. After grade 7, I went to Mupingos uh, secondary school. Why is it called is Mupingos? In, Mupingos... W what does the word Mupingo mean? Is it I, Mpingo or Mupingo? <laughs> Just Mpingos. Okay. I yes. thought maybe it was derived from a church. Maybe. From a church. Oh, Mpingo. Mpingo. <laughs> In fact, you are just thinking too much because I never thought of it. Okay. <laughs> Ever since. Okay. <laughs> but uh, there the, the are no strings attached to a church. No, it's a government school. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Cool. <laughs> that's why I did my part of, part of my grade eight. Okay. That is uh, from term one to term two. Uh, the mid of term two. Mm -hmm. Then the uh, dad here came with mom. Mm -hmm. uh, now she's late. Uh, lost her room. May her so rest in peace. Mm -hmm. uh, they came to Lundazi and picked me to come here. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was in 2003 on the 8th of August. Okay. So, so when I came uh -huh. here, I went here at Yota Mlea, just here. Ah, at just here at the Mazda. Yes, yes, okay. was the Mazda police. True. That's where I was from uh, Twenzo. From 2004 to 2005, I got my grade 9. Then so, I went to Mnali. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, which year did you go to Mnali? Mnali is 20, um, 2006. Mm -hmm. So 2006, 2007, 2008, I graduated from Mnali. So grade, uh, that was grade 10 to 12. 
Okay. Yes. Uh, Dad, <laughs> my father, our papa did. Growing up as a child, uh, under your care in custody, Benzin went to the bank. You can't carry the car the bank. I'm carrying the car to the bank. Sina peze kozo vuta. Eh. I'm carrying the car to the bank. Eh. 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 Uh, Ndiye zimzamene tifuna ya timbele yeah, Kitu mwe wawo nzibwanji Chifukwa abana e, Mwana lero wangangale mtu wabu ino yeah. Kwa makula kwake Kwenze misha pukutia akontoloke mm-hmm. Kuti no 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 kasambe Iwe wai kanda, ukana kusamba And all those things So uh, what kind of A person was he growing up uh, Kukula kwake kwenze Kuna hali kwa kondoresa maningi Kwa ziwa kusamba Kozi wa kunkara na wazi. Nasa yonika wosu eta ka? Yeah. Ok. Yeah. So, panali bevuto hili yon sa hivyo. Ok. Yeah. Eh, nanga branch monga baenda kusukuru. Then, atino ba menyana na mundu. Eh, kuyenda kusukuru kunali bezande u. Sina pokeleko lipoti hili yon sa hivyo hipa yon chokela kusukuru. Ok. Eh. Eh, nanga zabu ino nizi iti zamenu muna pokeleda kutoka kusukuru. Zamene na pokela kutokela kusukuru nizo punzila kutino mwana wano wa punzila buwina. Yero kupasa buwanji? Na kupasa buwina. Mana mba buwanji? Eee... Oku sako nisiku kulibeba mana mba wana. Kulibeba mana mba wana. Kujachatu nyote apasa muna. Ok. So uh, father, run me through. Um, during your, um, your tenure at, um, you said Mnali, uh, what were some of the challenges that you faced that side? Mnali... You know, at that time, it was a time when um, we still had, you know, big students. Mm-hmm. Not nowadays where you find a small boy, uh-huh. looking uh-huh. like uh, mm-hmm. some of us uh-huh. uh, is in the 12. We are the big people. Big so, people. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it was very easy when they just agreed that we are going to have a demonstration. Mm-hmm. It was very easy to start a demonstration. Okay. But now, during my time, at that time when I was there, mm-hmm. we promised because I was a senior prefect. Okay. So we promise that uh, in our time there will never be a, a demonstration. Demonstration. So we made sure that when we just hear, mm-hmm. uh, which they call it, mm-hmm. 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 we just hear mm-hmm. something that mm-hmm. the guys are planning to demonstrate, mm-hmm. then already we we talk to the administration or the students are planning this, this because mm-hmm. of this, maybe some teachers are not teaching well. Mm-hmm. Maybe this. Then immediately it we sorted out. the police officers are all over, then they will not do anything. Wow. So, but that was a challenge, but also on the... Maybe be about the, personal, personal challenges. Personal challenges mm. are a lot of responsibilities to do when all start school. Okay. A lot of responsibilities at school. So from from really from the look of doing. from the look of things, Father, you look like uh, you've been this quiet person, mm. not troublesome. Mm. But I also know that certain people could be taking advantage of your quietness. Mm. Did you ever have um, you know an instance where maybe some people beat you mm. uh, for nothing at school, or maybe you picked up a fight at school? Um, no. The, the the only thing is you know or maybe you 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 had beaten somebody no 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 uh beating me no mm. but because the people is the student respected me a lot why and for what i don't know why they respected me but they respected me a lot were you a bit older in class uh maybe because of the responsibilities that i had and the my presence, availability to the uh, teachers, even mm-hmm. to the students, mm-hmm. because I was a senior prefect. Mm-hmm. So normally students would come in the computer lab and they will be there to assist them, even the teachers assisting them. Mm-hmm. So you find that even when I went to, uh, to, to any class, classroom, mm-hmm. students would, would stand up like I'm a teacher, they would stand up, you know, giving respect. Okay. So students respected me so much that uh, they had no time to quarrel with me. But mm. so I think it's how I presented myself to them. So, so, so n- they, never was a time when uh, you picked up a misunderstanding with, or I, even being beaten by a, a teacher? I don't remember any. No punishments came your way? No, I don't remember any. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't remember any. Okay. Um, yeah. That. Pamene banari kukula, nizi wa monga kolo, obviously you'd always, you'd always envision your child to maybe become a doctor or maybe become 
uh, you know, uh, a pilot or, <laughs> or maybe a, any of these professions. But mind your boss is a school. Uh, maybe how did you receive um, the news, uh, the fact that he wanted to be a priest? Uh, did you support his, um, you know, aspiration of becoming a doctor from, I mean, a priest from the onset? Young Kara as a priest, when I work on a camel, no in any Funokan Kara and got Nasisa school in Funani Kangare Bambo. Simon of Tanazo is a year. So Tinali Vavili, eh? Kuno. So Paukam Birana in an Agamaratino, in Kani singer Sidia Mai in an eka. You want how Zina, Bambuya Wako was end of Kalambu Kamba Kamba. Then me Tata Wako Futikumunzi, as Amogam as no Mkuru Wanga. And so we say, Ramana Wanga, so mm. can't see a woman, so mm -hmm. end at once. So, Kumuns is Napes, the Katankara Vavidi. Eh, Ranza to Anali Vambidi. We are more Kamila now, what you know, Sanga and Kale Bambo. In Chito Sinch, Banja Yakana, Yakana. So, Kulinga and Avuti and Tauzo said to get the job as you and Amulungu, Chimankara Jo Vuta. So, Tina Vutana now, Vutana now, Vutana now. In an ankara, most why all voters know Muntungati when work at Funa. Is you will not come back here? Yes. Okay. So, Nakambila and Nakambila now in Bakawajan to an hour, Gonja, but I know, but see it. The candies in Kari Mamenes is Mamenes. So, near moment in Abu Ran so back, you know, Nakuyama Chito Yauba. No, in fact, there was no conclusion. Yeah. Okay. Yes, there was no conclusion. Mm. He him concluded to say, no, Laxon, you are still at school. You can hear what people are saying. So mm. let's end here. We go back to Lusaka. When you finish school, mm. we will sit again and then you say, okay, let's look at the results. Okay, are you qualified to go there? Yes, okay. Then that's when now we agree. So okay. we finished now the two of us. Okay. After now. After you completed the grade 12. completed school. That's when we finished the two of us minus those now in the village. But when we went there, when we are presenting this, mm. it was very tough, mm -hmm. like he said. Mm -hmm. Because them, we said, no, we want you as we want you to marry. So it was very tough. In the church, there is no money in the church. Sometimes they will dish you there in the village. Mm -hmm. Where do you get money? You are the firstborn son. Mm -hmm. How do you take care of us? Mm -hmm. So it was very tough. But then, he, you know, being the eldest, then he just said, no, let's end here. Okay. We'll finish some other time when he finishes school. Wow. You know? Um. All right. <laughs> So, Tate, per minute, carry box it and gone. Tuesday, how does it make you feel, you know, in the family? Mwankara na mwana, wamena atumikira mrungu. No prumu samyo zabantu. Chinkara choko ndule samaningi, chukwa pa family yatu, ndiye mtu woyamba kukara bambu. So, ndiye woyamba? Woyamba. Eh. So, nchoko ndule samaningi tumazi. Okay. Eh. Yeah. Eh, ni advice bwanje munga pase makolo bena mene bale savana bao kutika pena banga tumikire mulungu munjira munga abambo atumikire eh, advice ya mene nga pelekeko ku makolo bena ni yakuti eh chintu chiri chonse chiri na mwene wake mwana mm -hmm. ngati mwana akamba kuti no ine nifuna kwankala engineer nifuna kwankala chiani musieni aende ku chito ya mene afuna mm -hmm. chikwanga ti mwamukanira Ndiye kuti simuna gulizani na mungu. E chifuwa makambabu ino, chifuwa ntau zambiri, vuto icho kena kumakolo yeah. na mene. Mpeza kuti, kwa mene msobe ila na akuluwa nzanu kuja, mm. e, akutino akakamsika na mwana wanga zaka bulo kwa tira. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> e zima chiku. So ine pangu. Iwe so ziva, no wapongo, haya upongo ziya choka kuti. Yeah. No, wanapusa <laughs> kithira. Yeah. So ine pangu uredi ni na okena kamukashia na simuna kawona. Muna wakasa kithira kuda? Kana... Kana pamba mene kana amba skuru, eh. kana amba uti na nifuna unkara doktor. Ok. Eh, so, ntawi iyo, pamba mene kana amba zina ya mene, eh. tinasi ya kuita na na zina yake. Ni doktor manji? Anali kukana, kulira. Ok. Ati muzita na doktor chumwemu. So, mwini na doktor chumwemu mnyumba? Eh, mwini. Ati mgrade five doktor chumwemu. Grade seven. Wow, doktor chumwemu. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Eh, so, Oru na manje so, mm -hmm. akali kufuna ya mene ya gatu. Sasi ita, akali na mene. Kuma mbuyo, wanani kulira, gatu mwaita na jaba, tichi mwemo. Ani chia zamba kulira. Ok. Eh, Atisumuzi wakuti ndine doktor. Eh. Eh. No, taa ya mikila tati. So, na bulaga wake na ye, 
Ndiye muamini akonga. Akonga. Enve ni ndani engineer. Enve ni engineer. Eh, Au na mamoto kabanja hapa, sio mimi. Wachita zake ni zama moto kabanja. No baba makizi. Eh, na I think I am pense kama ningi pa garage hapa. Bando ya makizi so. Eh. Eh. Wow. Na vimatea zilipo hapo vambi. Anaguli la tu, makizi aguli la tu moto wa karibu bwe. Opo. All right. No, this is awesome. Thank you. Tamiki la tat. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, that was dad right here. Oh. Um let's just go on a break as we listen to this great song, you know, by Dr. Pasta uh Paul Enuche from Nigeria with a song entitled uh Ele Ele. I'll be right back.
We are still, you know, right here on uh, Cage and the Clay segment, and um, we're still in the life of uh, Father Emmanuel Lungu right here. We are in Chilulu Garden. <laughs> wow. Like I always tell you, just stay glued to what we're doing. Next time, we could just be knocking on the door of uh, your man of God, your pastor, your father, your priest, a bambo, however you call them. That's our interest, one, to delve into their lives and just get to interact with them. They share their side of the story. What a great song right there, you know, by um, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Pasta. <laughs> I love the titles. <laughs> Dr. Pasta, Paul Enuche from Nigeria with a song entitled Ele. I love the clarity, the graphics right there. That was awesome. On the set, we've just been joined by, you know, uh, Sister Mary Lungu right here. How are you? All right. Have you been? Okay, and how are you? I'm blessed, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me you are blessed as well. I'm blessed as well. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Just relax. Uh, you are here to just attest to his life. Yeah. He's the main man. We are here. We just want to get into his life and learn one or two things. You know, people like him are rare in the society. Yeah. Do you concur with me? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, Father, tell me. Um... You are now done with school, with your grade 12. Um, tell me, what was the next step? After school? After school. So after... Um, Maybe to start with, how many points did you get? <laughs> how did you say it? Alright, share with us. Yeah, so after, um, after my secondary school at Mnari, then immediately that taught me to do something at Unza. So I wanted to do IT at okay. Unza, yes. Why? Um, I, because I did the computers, basics in computers whilst at Mnari. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, gave me the interest mm -hmm. to like computers so much. So I wanted to upgrade now to do even more, just not only software, but to do more in terms of even hardware. Okay. So he sent me to go at Unza there to do the course. I collected the forms, but uh, now now it is a secret. Hope he will close his ears. Okay. You know, when I went there, uh -huh. I found that the life there was bad in the secular. So okay. when I went there, I collected the forms, but then when I came here, I said no. They said yeah, I can't enroll there. Ah, oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so this time we, I think, you know, I confessed to that. <laughs> oh, it's a confessed sin. <laughs> it's a confessed sin. <laughs> Which father did you confess to? Ah, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah, so when I went there, but you know, the life there mm -hmm. that I saw was very bad. The way, you know, Student, uh, when but I just how, how said, long no. were you there to tell that life at all? It was just a life. day, but uh, then I felt uncomfortable. Just I the just environment? said, No, I think the environment, how uh, the, just the environment, the, the way the atmosphere there, mm -hmm. I was very uh, uh, uncomfortable. So I just came and he told him, Said, No, Father, I let, can't let me go check there. this out. Um, is it true that uh, you felt uncomfortable just from the environment, or maybe? Um, you heard some bad news about students from Unza. No, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't uh, interview anyone. I just went there for my own business. That was your first time in Unza. The first time going there. Okay. But uh, I was not just. Uh, when I just looked at them, I said, Ah, no. I think I don't suit to be here, but to go for priesthood. So, uh, so, so I think what me. disturbed much was priest to do thing because it was just there from the beginning. From the very beginning. Yes. So going there, even if I had that interest to start the IT, mm -hmm. but I think I thought it was a sheer waste of time. I said, no, here, one year I'll spend here or six months, mm -hmm. I may be converted. So okay. I think, <laughs> let me go back home. So that's okay. how I came. I just told him, ah, no, I didn't find the school. I said, what are you going to be doing then as you wait for your results? Mm -hmm. I said, okay, I can do something. So that's how I started working in Matelo at BJ's building. Mm. Yes, my uncle, there is another uncle of mm -hmm. mine who had the business center there. So I went, I started working there. Okay. I worked there until my results came out. Then I gave that the results. Here are the results. So uh, after that, of course, it took about two weeks. He didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he was meditating upon mm -hmm. them to, I, I think so as well. to see now uh -huh. because he knew the news that will come out of there is I want to go for priesthood. Mm -hmm. 
So he, after that, I asked after two weeks, ah, but the results I gave you, uh, what are we waiting for? He said, ah, no, but I want to apply, I want to go for priesthood. Maybe I failed, he said, ah, no. So that's how he's, he allowed me to apply for priesthood. Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> Sister Mary, uh, help us understand. How did you receive the news that your brother was uh, enrolling for priesthood? As for me, it was just okay. It was the, uh, in the beginning himself, from childhood, he wanted to go for priesthood. Okay. For us, it was just okay, but the problem was... Now, I, I want you as an individual, personally. Yeah, personally, mm. it was just okay. All right. Yeah. Um, tell me something about him. I know, the, 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 uh, you know, uh, growing up as a family, you never ran short of fights as brother sister. Do you remember picking up a fight with him? No, 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 no. no. Why? You were scared of him. No, it's really scared of him. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? The, war, the mm. way he was from childhood, I was very respected. Okay. Yeah. I but but you know, sometimes um, it's it's not about not really being respective that ignites fights. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's some fights are just, you know, pushed on two innocent people. Did you ever think of pushing a fight to him? No. Not even not, verbal not fights? Not even one, they're not even verbal fights with him. Okay. No. If I would say that, I would, I'm going to lie. What kind of a man is he? Uh, Father Lungu is a very kind person. Okay. A, person, a loving person and a, uh, he's a person who likes uh, what he does. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Father Lungu, <laughs> you help me. Um, you're still young and energetic. And um, I know, let me not talk about peer pressure, but you as an individual. It's normal for a human being, um, you know, as your blood is running in your veins, you mm. always want uh, probably to have a girlfriend or some stuff like that. Mm. Have you ever had a girlfriend in your lifetime? You know, the term is just too general, so I don't know what to say, either yes or no. Okay, you say yes, then uh, qualify what then you say. Then I qualify. Yes. Mm. Ah, okay, I see. <laughs> I, I have had the girlfriends, many of them. Okay. Yes. A string of them. Yes. Okay. In fact, my entire life, I associated much with, uh, with, the, with the, the women folk than the men. Okay. Yes. Of mm -hmm. course, I had uh, friends, male friends, but uh, most of them uh, now, they are, of course, all those friends I had anyway, they are gone. I, I, I don't, we don't communicate. Fat. But I had uh -huh. the girlfriends, um, not uh, maybe invited commas, but just friends. All right. Now, yes. you are a man, mm. and I'm a man, and we know what we're talking about. Mm. Has there been a time where you looked at this girl and then um, you developed feelings for that person and then probably you approached her to be your <coughs> intimate, um, you know, um, girlfriend or to get into intimacy mm. in relationships? No. Why? Because, uh, like I've said, um, the goal to becoming a priesthood started when I was very young, mm -hmm. tender age, at the age of six, if you remember. Mm -hmm. Yes. So at the age of six, I said, I have to become a priest. Mm -hmm. So that was my driving force. Then even as I grew up, later on, I was involved in leadership at church, mm -hmm. even in the what we call outer boys club, meaning those who serve the priests. Mm -hmm. And in that group, there are rules. Okay. Whereby they don't want, they, you don't need to be, like, to be found with a, a girl, like, uh, intimates, eh? mm -hmm. yeah, like a, a girl whom we, you can be going out with, you don't need to be, to, to have such. So once you are found, even if they find you walking after 18, mm. it was a, it was a case, you are asking, boy, yes. Okay, so now, they will put you on suspicion. So that kind of life mm, always helped, helped me to... To, be fo to stay focused. Now, uh, I want to check this. Mm -hmm. If uh, I know you're a priest. You fast, do you? Fasting? Have you fasted? Yes, yes, I've done that. I know. Uh, when you're fasting, you mm -hmm. always tell your mind, mm -hmm. prior to, you know, the practical fasting, you mm -hmm. tell your mind to say, I'll eat probably after breaking, and you even set time. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, feelings sometimes are 
just natural. Mm -hmm. You don't really need to induce them or mm -hmm. to, you know, do whatever. So now as you're fasting, you'd realize that you just feel hungry. Mm -hmm. It's not that you have invited the, the hunger. It has just come because mm -hmm. probably that's the time when you eat. It's mm -hmm. natural. Mm -hmm. So my, now my question is that, have you ever developed interest for a particular woman or lady in your life? Uh, like you have said, that is very normal. Because it's natural to, yes, it's to our natural, feelings. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That is very normal. Yes, that is very normal. And you may, uh, at a certain point, maybe I could have uh, developed feelings for a certain woman. Now, I want, problem, I, I want the, to tell but me... But you see the challenge. Uh -huh. yeah. The challenge is, no matter how much you can uh, feel like that, mm -hmm. To, to approach that person is even difficult because of your goal that you have set. Okay. Yeah, so you remain in that... But uh, feelings have always been there. Feelings are there, and that is what makes me to be a priest. Okay. Because of those same feelings. Mm -hmm. So without those feelings, I cannot be a priest. Okay. So it is very normal. I need to have those feelings for me to, to be a priest, even to work with the people. Because even right now, what we are doing is because of the feelings. But, but then, the feelings, the feeling, we the feelings we're talking about, Father, you remember Paul in the scripture. Paul was an inch. So it simply means that Paul never had, uh, he was never moved towards women in a certain way because he was an inch. He was born like that. Mm -hmm. And other men uh, become inch mm -hmm. by will. You, you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So the feelings I'm talking about are feelings that may not, that may probably push you into liking or wanting a woman. Mm -hmm. You have those feelings? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Great. Okay. Um, let, let me find out from uh, Sister Mary here. From the bottom of your heart. Yes. Would you have loved Father here to probably have married at some point and just give you kids as... Uh, how old do you call them? The nieces and nephews. Uh -huh. Have you ever wished that? Yeah, for me, I've never wished for that. You've never? Yes. Because, uh, as he has already stated himself... No, no, I, I want you to speak from your heart. Allow your heart to speak. Yeah, I'm speaking from myself. Okay. I'm just referring to okay. the point which was Great. Uh -huh. As he was, has already stated himself uh -huh. that from childhood, he wanted to become a priest. Mm -hmm. So for me, I've never seen that in him, uh, the, 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 the picture of him having... Children. It has never even crossed your mind. No, it has never. Wow. For me, it has never. Okay. Yes. Why? Why? why didn't you as well <laughs> think of becoming a sister? I was seeing him a priest. Already. You? You? Why didn't you ever think of becoming a sister? Are you a sister or not? No, me. I'm not a sister. I have kids myself. Why? <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you think of becoming a sister? The thing of, of mm -hmm. being a sister in me mm -hmm. hasn't been there. Okay. Yeah. So I've never, I never wish to be a sister. All Myself, right. I wish to have to, to get married, to have children, and that's where I am now. I have children. Okay, that's great. We thank God for you. Now, Father, <laughs> tell me, are we then saying there are just specific people that God wired in a certain way to become priests, or it is a desire mm. on you to become a priest? No, they are not, uh, we cannot say that God has uh, only maybe selected the few people <laughs> that become uh, to become priests. No, uh -huh. even yourself, uh -huh. you, you, you could, maybe Priest it could cage. be that, you, yeah, you could, <laughs> Father it cage. could be that you had that potential maybe, mm. but maybe you just lost it yourself. You said, ah, no, me, I can't do this. Okay. So, of course, and this is why we hear that um, God, you know, many are, are called, mm -hmm. but if you are, are chosen, chosen, yes. So, few are set apart but mm -hmm. even in my in my intake you know we started about uh, 62 but okay. only 23 were ordained wow. 23 of us were, were ordained you know so mm -hmm. so you find that um, <clears throat> each one of us is called to, to a specific task so we cannot all be priests we cannot all be husband 
Okay. Uh, we cannot, uh, people cannot all be wives. But you look like you can make a very good husband, <laughs> <laughs> a very good father <laughs> in the biological setup. In the biological uh. setup. No, maybe you are not seeing with the spiritual eyes. <laughs> really? Okay, let's leave it at that. Okay, so uh, let's just go on a break as we listen to this great song by um, Juno St. Max, all the way from Malawi with a song entitled uh, Ife Tukutokoza. We'll be right back. great song right there i just love the way our um, you know brothers from malawi do their music as well you know there are a lot of synonyms between zambians and uh, you know malawans we are <laughs> we are the same people all right uh, what a great song right there ife tukutokoza inu all right meaning we are just praising and thanking our god We've been joined on the set by brother joseph chindamwe right here uh, you know is um coming from the same church as our father and uh, he's one of the youths and we'll just get to find out a bit more about him. Joseph, how are you? Thank you very much, sir. Great. You're looking awesome. Thank you very you much. You look sir. like a priest already. <laughs> are you aspiring to become one? Yeah, uh, be a priest if God says yes. He hasn't said anything for now. He's quiet? Yeah, he's quiet as well. Have you asked him? <laughs> no, I, I'll ask him later on. You haven't asked him? Yes. What are you waiting for? <laughs> what grade are you doing? Uh, I've already completed in 2016. I was at Kablonga Boys Secondary School. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm preparing to go to the seminary. But how would you go if you haven't really rehearsed with your father, God? <laughs> no, uh, I'm, uh, I'm preparing. <laughs> yeah. You ask him later yes. if he wants you to go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's, it's getting interesting. Um, Father, you tell me, um, how, how is life in terms of, um, uh, you, you know, it's, it's another phase of uh, life where you are aspiring to become a priest and now you are a priest. Mm. You were dreaming of uh, leading the flock to God, leading them in the presence of God, mm. doing some counseling. Mm. preaching to them now you are doing the, the donk work the practical work mm. just share with me how is life practically as a father mm. yeah life uh, uh, in priesthood now is um is uh it's nice so to say i'm enjoying it because okay. i always i always um admired you know to becoming a priest okay i always desired rather to becoming a priest mm -hmm. and now that i'm a priest and what what um, what was um, moving me mm -hmm. okay what was moving me to becoming a priest is now being achieved mm -hmm. i'm a happy priest because right. i always desired that i want to become a priest so that i can be the voice of the voiceless all right i can help the poor mm -hmm. okay so, and this, you know, to, and I can be at the service of the people in short. And now that I'm a priest and I'm able to do my work very well, mm -hmm. I'm at the service of the people, mm -hmm. I'm just happy. For how long have you been in the priesthood? Two years now. Two years now. Wow. Yes. Um, it's not easy. <laughs> it's Two years not now. Easy. Yeah. I'm a baby priest. <laughs> All right. Uh, we, we pray the, the, the how, how would I call them? The father priest yeah. helps you to grow to in grow the priesthood. In the priesthood. <laughs> I know there are people oh, that have gone ahead of you. Board. <laughs> yes. Now, yeah. our father, tell me, this is so fascinating. Mm. At the age of six, mm. you have this burning desire to become a priest. Mm. Were you all over the priests, or maybe you had this great encounter with priests, or you had priests around you that motivated you uh, mm. to become a priest? Or what happened? Where did this zeal and oomph mm. Mm. of becoming a priest come it's from? Come from, yeah, yeah, you are right. Um, um, in the family, we have uh, an uncle who is a priest. Okay. Yes, I have uh, my uncle in the family who is a priest. So what it is is. Um, Whenever he came home, 
you know, coming, driving, then he, all of us, including myself, mm -hmm. we could do learn after him. Okay. Father, father Abambo, in fact. Yeah, you know, Abambo. Abambo, yeah. Abambo, Abambo. You yeah. know, all of us learning after him. Abambo, Mumu Abambo. Mumu 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 yes. 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 Abambo, Abambo. So immediately <laughs> I told him, I said, Father, one day I'll also be a priest. So that nine of us need Okay. Okay. So he, he said, Oh, you want to become a priest? I said, yes, I'll be a priest. But then I was very young, quite young. And uh, I belonged to this church, so called Last Church, at the church your city is in Nyanja. In, in Lundas, there is, uh, I think now it's just a church which is just uh, for our village there. My okay. Village, yes. It's a Catholic church? No, no, no. It's just a church like that, last church. It's called last church. That's the name that's of the, the church? That's the name of the church. Okay. So I belonged to that church. So immediately I told my well, What dad denomination is it? Is it uh, in the Pentecostalism or mm. a traditional? Not uh, Pente, no. Or Catholicism? Not Pente, not, I don't know where I can group it anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, All but right. it's not a Pentecostal mm. church, no. Um, so uh, I told them that I'm coming out of this church. I want to start school and join the Catholic Church because I want to become a priest. So that's how now the issue of starting school now came in and I told dad and mom I want to start school. So basically it started from that, <coughs> my uncle. Mm. Just admiring him, then he, that zeal to becoming a priest started. So tell me, um your parents, were they Catholic members? They were not Catholic and uh, <coughs> they became Catholics now after, in fact, only mom now became a Catholic after, after I was already ordained. Recently, okay. last year, in fact, mm -hmm. at Easter, that's when she was baptized. She's now a full member of the Catholic Church, including my siblings. They were not Catholics. Now, okay. they are, a number of them, they are Catholics. Uh, tell me, um, have you ever had time to link up with fa uh, Father, your uncle? And uh, just tell him that I'm now a priest. No, he, he knows we have been uh, we have been together. How excited has he been? Uh, that you're now very a priest? excited. In fact, very happy. Do you even laugh about it? Do you joke about yes, it? Yes. In fact, the first time we we, we, we joked about it, you remember? I yeah. told you that. In fact, the moment I just entered the seminary, I yeah. reminded him. You remember? I told you when yeah. I was very young <laughs> that yeah. I'm going to become a priest. <laughs> now I'm, I'm going in the seminary. Okay. So even as I was moving, we kept on uh, communicating. You mm -hmm. you come here just like that. Until until this time, we are still in touch. All right. Yes. So uh, he's very happy. All right, Joseph. Tell me. I know he's your priest. Yes. Oh, well. in, in 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 other circles, would say your spiritual father. Yes. Uh, you tell me what kind of a man is he uh, as a priest? Uh, How would you define him? Uh, father Lungu is a kind of priest who so energetic. <coughs> he says that in and his wife chaplain to a parish. What does that mean? A uh, chaplain. <coughs> I is uh, the person who look after the two, who look, uh, who control the, the youth. The youths, okay, yeah. okay. All right, other than that, how would you describe him? Uh, the, I can say the spiritual director at a parish, and uh, he's so spiritual and... Uh, you know, when we were outside with him, you were not there, he just whispered to me that he's, born, he's not born again. Is it true? Yeah, no, he's not born again. He's not born again? Yeah. What is he? He hasn't received Christ in his life? He has already received Christ. Uh, what, maybe you don't understand. What does it mean to be born again? Born again is a person who has uh, already received Christ and he leave those bad things behind. So, is, has, has he received Christ? Yes. Let's confirm. Father, are you born again? <laughs> We could have a father for one who's not born again. <laughs> who is not baptized. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm, unless you are doubting me, but that I'm a priest. No, no, no. no. <laughs> um, yeah. Behind me, there is uh, Zambia. Yes. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yes. So the, we want to get it from you. Yeah, so, so I'm saying, unless you are doubting that I'm a priest, but now I can't become a priest before being a Christian. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm a very much baptized, baptized and I have received the Christ, yes. All right. Um, yeah. Off cuff, I know of the Charismatics. Oh, Tell yes, me yeah. a bit about them. I love that group. The Charismatic mm. group. Oh yes, even my love that group. It's a very good group. In fact, um, I, I joined that group when I was uh, still in formation at Saint Augustine Major Seminary in Mpi Makawe. 
Okay. Yes. So I I also love that group. We have it at our <laughs> parish. It's a very good group. W what are they yeah. up to? Um, basically, they they they. Normally we have, in the charismatic, we have uh, what we call intercessors, those who pray for us, mm -hmm. different pro problems. We have uh, those who are in the healing and deliverance ministry, mm -hmm. meaning uh, if uh, we have people who need the healing, maybe mm -hmm. deliverance, they come, then they are prayed for. So, you know, it's a spiritual group. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a spiritual group. And for those from other churches who say, no, maybe the Catholic Church, they don't speak in tongues. Mm. It is in that group that we find the people speaking in tongues. So you speak in tongues as well? No, me, I don't. <laughs> but you I were don't once have, a no, charismatic. No, no, no. Being a charismatic, a charismatic does not mean speaking in tongues. Okay. That's why people confuse the things. Okay. So you can be a charismatic, but you don't speak in tongues. Ah. That, was, that is also a gift okay. in itself. We call it the gift of so tongues. In other words, you don't have this gift. I don't have this gift of speaking in tongues. Okay. Yes. Great. Yes. Now but I can pray, but uh, not praying in, in tongues. tongues. No, I okay. don't. Okay. You that you gift. tell me, Father. Um, you just alluded to the fact that um, the charismatic group sometimes do pray even for you, mm. right? Mm. Do you go to them to share your personal problems as a priest, as yes. Father Father Lungo? Yes. 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 So like like this time, mm -hmm. um, we have uh, we have this group at the parish. Okay, so uh, uh, within that group, we have a group which we call uh, healing, uh, that which is in the healing and deliverance ministry. So normally I meet with this group. Uh, so when, uh, when they, sometimes when they sleep or maybe in a vision, mm -hmm. they will see something maybe happening, uh, maybe at the parish, they will come, Father, I saw this in a vision mm -hmm. today that uh, maybe this and that, you know, I, which I, I can't uh, exactly. disclose, yes. Yeah, true. But sometimes they'll just tell, no, I saw this and that, Father, we need to pray for this, mm -hmm. okay? Then uh, we'll, pre we'll arrange and pray. If it is individually, maybe myself, I'm praying about that myself. Alone there, they are also praying, but we are, we all, we are all praying for the same thing. Okay. Then if also I saw something, maybe I'll share, yeah, even me the other day, maybe I had this dream. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we may take it for a joke. Let's pray for on this. Then if I have a personal uh, problem, problem? Mm -hmm. of course it's not everyone that mm -hmm. I can share with. You can uh, pick they a are few. The selected few, yes, mm -hmm. those that uh, I trust to say, okay, these, they are mature, and if I share with them my life, they won't disclose it anymore. Because some people, sometimes they lack you know, respect for other people's secrets. True. So true. if you share with anyone, you, mm -hmm. see, I, you hear it from someone. Tomorrow you hear it in the yes. song. Yes. <laughs> so there are people that I trust. When, when I share, uh -huh. it you will know remain in, in the hands. boundaries. Yes, mm -hmm. it will remain just there. Okay. So I do that. I All share right. Because sometimes, hey, I may be a priest, but uh, I don't stop uh, being a human being. Yes. Mm. <laughs> and so I continue to learn. Even from them, I can learn something. Right. And we have seen that there are some wow. people who are very spiritual. They are not priests. Yes, mm -hmm. they, are, they have not been called to become a priest mm -hmm. or a sister, but they are very spiritual. Sometimes when you look at them, mm -hmm. you feel challenged. You say, ah, so there are people who mm -hmm. can be so prayerful. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you feel challenged sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And so you can't hesitate to share with uh, your problem with such people. Wow. Like I was telling you about the gift of the tongue. Mm -hmm. There is also maybe the gift of discernment mm -hmm. where someone, when I look at you, maybe we are praying. When I look at you, God will communicate to me that oh, now this is the, the direction. Pray for this. Mm -hmm. So then that person will tell you, oh, Father, now the direction is this. We have been given a direction that this person, we pray for this. Me, I don't have those uh, spiritual eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't have that gift. But maybe a Christian has that gift. Mm. So it's just a matter, it takes one to humble oneself <laughs> and exactly. work with those people. True. Yes, cooperate with them, work with them, you don't have that gift. Those people have that gift. And in fact, as charismatics, mm -hmm. it is even encouraged not uh, to work alone the way I am, then I start working alone, no. Mm -hmm. Because we need to have a valet. Maybe we are the five of us. Among the five, maybe myself have a gift of healing. Healing. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other one who have a gift of discernment. Mm -hmm. The other one has a gift of uh, speaking maybe in speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. The other one has a gift of uh, singing. Mm -hmm. Okay. The other one. So you have one Together to start the, the song. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have one to start the song. You have another one to see. You have another one to do the healing. You have, you know, you. You have a complete. Yes. You, know, body you, of you have a complete mm -hmm. set. Yes. Okay. So that's how that group works. So if you cooperate yourself very well with them. They are a good group and you can make wonders. Yeah. All 
All right, uh, Father, as we are wrapping up, um, le let me ask this question. We know the great commission that uh, God gave us after he created everything. He said, go and uh, replenish the earth, go and subdue it, go mm. and multiply. Mm. Uh, don't you ask yourself questions sometimes to say, if God asked me, what am I doing about... Uh, you know, reprocreation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How would you answer that one? Do you think you're doing a disservice <coughs> to this commission or what? Um, you know, Minister, I'm not even regretting anything. Not at all. I'm not regretting anything mm -hmm. and I don't ask myself any question in that line. Mm -hmm. Because even what I'm doing, mm -hmm. even right now what you, we are doing, you know that I'm bearing fruits. Because True. someone is going to listen to what we are doing Perfect. here. Udavu. Uh, uh, we are, would have brought up some life, mm -hmm. would have uh, uh, inspired someone. So we are already <laughs> bearing fruits just like this. So go and multiply. We are already, we are already multiplying through the web. <laughs> so I don't regret anything. All right. <laughs> then there could be someone out there mm. who's always had this, you know, um, feeling of wanting to serve God, mm. but probably looking at the challenges of life here and there, mm. they've probably given up. What mm. could be a word? To them, mm, you know, uh, like we have said mm -hmm. that, uh, like we said uh, 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 earlier on, mm -hmm. that uh, it's not that God has chosen just the few and say, no, these are the ones who are going to be priests, or maybe He has chosen only maybe from the rich families, mm -hmm. then He or oh, uh, the most educated, uh, the one. most educated, these are going to be priests. No. Mm. When you look at uh, where I'm coming from, if I tell you the rest of my background, mm. you find that uh, maybe you say, but how did you survive? Because mm -hmm. I'm coming from a poor background, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you know, like, I didn't tell you, like, why, why daddy came and picked me to come and uh, finish school here. Because mm -hmm. I had no sponsorship there. Mm -hmm. There was no one to support me. Mm -hmm. So I said, no, let's go, you finish school. And here is, uh, I am now as a priest. Mm -hmm. But if I tell you at one point, mm -hmm. I even saw the rape, you know, that rape, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, I went, I ordered some rape one, at one point, whereby you go to school, they chase you, no, lax on the shirt is uh, torn. Mm -hmm. You go back, you know, lax on, you are not paid up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went home and I ordered some lip. One bunch, you separate it. I sold it at one quarter, one quarter, two quarter. I make two quarter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just like that. And I went to buy a shirt. Then I went back to school. Mm -hmm. Then after that, they chase you again. No, Luxon, you are not paid up. I go back. I do some certain business. I go back to school just like that. But today I'm a priest. Mm -hmm. So if someone is out there and saying, no, no, because me, I'm suffering, so I, I don't have anyone to support mm. me. You so know, I, can't, it, I can't save no, no, God. No, it, it takes uh, one's determination. Mm. If you are determined that this is what I want to do, God will always create a way. But, but now looking at, yeah. at it from this angle, mm -hmm. where maybe there are certain um, habits mm -hmm. in certain people mm -hmm. of indulging in sin, Mm. And they've tried to come out of that cocoon, but they mm. can't just manage. Mm. And then, you know, they're asking themselves questions. Mm. Uh, how can I really be a priest? Mm. I think these people are saints. They don't sin. They can't sin. Mm. Look at the kind of life that I'm leading. Mm. I'm a sinner. Mm. You know, I flounder in sin every mm. time. Mm. What could be your word? Can God still mm. pick them, watch them, and use them? In fact, the priesthood it doesn't mean that it is for, for pure people. No. Okay. <laughs> priesthood is not for pure people. We are all sinners. I'm sure you have even seen the Pope going for confession. Mm. <laughs> why he went for con why he goes for confession? Mm. He's also a sinner. Mm -hmm. Even myself, I'm a sinner, mm. but I'm a priest. I go for confession. You are so, hearing it. He's also a sinner. Yes, mm. we, are, we are all sinners. You know, even, you know, such kind of thinking, even myself, I thought maybe mm -hmm. earlier, I, I, I could think that maybe some people are not sinners. Okay. But then I realized that all of us here on earth, mm. we are sinners. And we and all so need Jesus. We all need Jesus. We mm -hmm. all need the Jesus to save us. Mm. So there is nothing like, no, me, if you ask, maybe like we are chatting quite right. Mm -hmm. If we, we go through, yes, I may have all the positive things, but do you think that my life has been all positive? I don't have any I negative. Don't think so. No, you know, mm -hmm. I've I've also fallen in one way or the other. But today I'm a priest. Mm -hmm. So uh, and uh, you know, uh, people sometimes even my, uh, some of my family members mm -hmm. they never accepted that I can be a priest at one point, and even others they only uh, accepted when I was already a priest. Ah, so he, he has managed, you know. 
Yes, but, but with the okay. testimony that we so, received from your dad and your sister, no, because you know, you look, you look like, like uh, you know, you, your life has all been smooth. No, they are, yes, it can be all smooth, mm -hmm. but you know, sometimes you can err in one or two. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. We are human beings. True. Okay. True. So others, maybe those who doubted me, maybe they doubted me looking at my stature. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> but it, it doesn't matter whether you look small, you mm. look what. It doesn't matter. We don't, uh, priesthood, we don't choose that, no, only this one. No, it's not us who cause, mm -hmm. it's God who cause. Wow. So it doesn't matter. We have seen other, uh, you know, like when we go to the seminar, eh? we go to the seminar in the first year, you realize that um, people who go there, they are not uh, like pure people. No, we come from different backgrounds. Backgrounds. Others would have smoked before. Mm -hmm. Others would have uh, been maybe drug addicts before. Mm -hmm. But they are changed people. Whereby when they go there, others they even... Uh, so this one has gone for priesthood. Mm -hmm. uh, those are people who are there. And today they are priests. Today maybe others are sisters. Others are what? Even, uh, even in any kind of life. Even when you look back in your life yourself, mm -hmm. if you look back, you find that sometimes you, you, you find some moments whereby you even laugh at yourself. Ah, My so life today, has been very dark in the past. So <laughs> this is where I am now. All right, and here I am so, today, Minister Cage. <laughs> yes, <laughs> today they call you Minister uh. Cage. But uh, before maybe you were someone else, nobody. Mm -hmm. Okay, but today people can look at you and say, ah. And be a role model. Yes, mm. you say, I, I wish I can be like that one. But others, those who live in the back, they will just, say ah you know yeah, they look at like, you know, you know, you know <laughs> such is a life it's normal but hey, you are you know so uh, my advice to those who think that um, uh, they cannot make it uh, no they can look what uh, in the bible look at the example of saint paul mm, saint paul a madala mm. okay Someone who, who, who murdered the people. Mm. Okay. In fact, not just mere people, Christians. <laughs> Christians, yes. Okay. <laughs> wow. He, but today we read about him mm. that he, Paul, to, you know, he has even written a lot of books. Yes, Paul more to than the Romans, else. To the mm. Romans, to the Ephesians, mm. uh, to the Colossians, mm. uh, Thessalonians, you know, all these Ephesians. So, and he built all these communities himself through preaching. Mm. He encountered God. Wow. So even in them, they can encounter God. The only problem is to encounter God at the point of death. At mm. That would be the problem, but it's... I think the challenge there is that you never know when you'll be dying. <laughs> if <laughs> you want to give your life to Christ at the point mm. of death, you'll mm. never know. It is even better that you give life uh, before you, uh, to God, even in the last minute before you die. Mm. Yeah, like I told my dad... I told that that I told him because now, like I told, I, I said, Mom is now Catholic. Mm -hmm. My siblings they are now Catholics, but Dad has remained in this so-called last church, which has oh, only remained. Church. It's just a name, I think, which is existing uh -huh. because he must be the the, the pastor himself by okay. now. But uh, because this church was for my grand grandfather, but okay. now after it's he, like a family church. I think so. Anyway, there are other families Probably involved. Probably could but have been a, a priest on. there as well. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Thank God that he so, served you. Yeah, but now it's like it just remained in our village. Okay. And he should be now to be the person to be in Falkland. But, you know, it's no longer existing, I think. So I told him that one day you would die as a Catholic. Mm -hmm. And I pray that one day you would die as a Catholic. So, you know, this is what it happens. I mean, there is always a room to change. All right. So those people who think that, no, me, I can't be a priest because I've done this and that in the past. Oh, no, priests come from families. And, uh, and uh, before, uh, before priesthood, would have passed a lot of uh, challenges, uh, you know, life in the secular mm. uh, to reach where we are. All right. Uh, um, so. Joseph, um, probably your last question. What could be your advice to youths like you? I know s sometimes youths of your at your level so, some of them are so rude such that they cannot even be sit under the council of the priests to just sell them uh, what, what do you call it they're, they're those father what mass you, servers mass servers they yeah. can't even just be mass servers they can't just save the men of god in the public what could be your words to them uh my word of advice my youth there 
what I can say that we have just to follow what our youth suffering are saying and we have to do the work in our parish. Yeah. Remain humble. You remain be committed. Humble, be committed mm. with the program. Be obedient. Be obedient, yes. All right. Okay. Wow, um, Father, I want you to look in the camera. No, I, Joseph, you look in that camera and just say a prayer. You pray for the audience. Makamaka by Chepelin, kind taught. You just say a prayer. Pray for the youths. Under a minute, say 30 seconds. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Father, I want to say thank you for this day that you have given us. We hope to us in us, our, us as youth to grow in the spiritual way that we may see the love of God, so that we may see the kingdom of God. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Wow. Amen. Jose, Jose, the priest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you have it. This has been Faith Avenue right here with your brother, Minster Cage. And today we were in the life of uh, Father Emmanuel Lungu right here in. Um, this is Tululu Garden, of course, and he's serving as a priest there in uh, that Saint Justin, Saint Augustine, Justin, Parish, Saint Augustine in uh, Kadikidiki. Mm. Like I always say, never touch the Dow. Keep you know uh, following what we're doing here right on QTV and uh, be blessed. This is a Christocentric show where we just want to reveal Christ in your lives and make sure that you know you are blessed in every sense. You never know, tomorrow we could be knocking on the door of your pastor. So make sure you follow what we're doing. Shalom, shalom, until you see us. Some gifts, including me, for you I will live.